Hello dear Runnings, welcome to Running Hood. Today it will be a battle soul. It will be a special from Anwe. It's a 1060 carbon steel versus the practical from John Lee. This Nagasa is 69 centimeters and this Nagasa is 72 centimeters and we will see which one will be the best in my opinion. So, the episode of today will be a special Anway versus the practical journey. The weight, the Tsuka thickness, the Tsuka width were really relevant in my opinion. And of course, a 1060 carbon steel against a 1095 carbon steel. So, the special Anway is a 1050 grams. It's a uh, nohi sword and it has thickness that is really important and uh, width too. So it's making something that is really comfortable for one hand cut because it's creating a stabilization of your movement, of your motion cut, and it's really appreciable. But with two hands, it's the opposite. This thickness and width of tsuka is too much important for someone who is under 1 meter 80 centimeters or 1 meter 90 centimeters and i think even for a person of 1 meter 90 centimeters having a nagasa that is so short is not so interesting even for multiple cut because if you go to see in Cassiberia, the special anway has been made for multiple cuts it should be having less weight than the original practical and it should be uh, more easy to, to use for multiple cuts and for me it's not the case that's why I made the multiple double cut Tamashigiri session with the special practical and this episode for me is the moment of truth because it reveals that even with another sword that is not having the best Nagasa size with another type of carbon steel, it's more easy than with the special practical to make double cuts, in my opinion. So that Tsuka was really not relevant for me on two hands cut and ask too much tension from my muscles and I think it's not good. And for cuts of precision I mean when you just have a little section of omote I, I call that a, a cut of precision because no inertia it was really more difficult with the special practical with two hands that with the um, practical for journey I had some opportunities with double cuts even they were not all perfect because that day my angles were not great for both swords because I think the Ninja Fruit Edition changed my habits and changed my angles not for the good way so I had to recalibrate my skills my Tameshigiri stand was falling apart I was in a really good mood it was a sunny day spring, beautiful day but my mind and body connection was not as good as last time for the John Lee practical review. So I think that Tsuka is good for one hand cut. I mean, for Batodo, I think that special Anway is good. Even with a 60 carbon steel, I had really good feelings. I had really good uh, practice. 
but when you you go with two hands it's got really more complicated because you need to use too much power of you with your muscles I mean for a person of my size 1 meter 65 centimeters and using too much power with your muscle is not so interesting because with the John Lee practical that is really more heavy 100 uh, grams more is important really important and the Nagasa is longer so 72 centimeters Nagasa I was more comfortable than with the Anway ones and what is weird is that the Anway brand has really good balance on their sword the Johnny Practical has not for me a, a better balance it's the opposite because I made the, the note 6 on 10 for the Johnny Practical and 7 on 10 for uh, it was 7 on 10 or 8 on 10 for the special from Anway so with the Johnny Practical the two hands cut were easier for two reasons one the tsuka is thinner and it is really more appreciable for my muscles connection and two the carbon steel is really better i really like 95 carbon steel especially for um, precision cuts on little section of omote you really see the difference it's cut well precise just like it should be and even when your angles are not perfect the 95 common steel make a really big difference you have to be precise with a 95 common steel because it doesn't allow big mistakes of angles or you will break the you will break the blade but there is a big difference and for that i really prefer the johnny practical for the carbon steel, for the tsuka, and that's that's it. This is the most important thing. Even for me, the journey practical is really physical because it's really longer than it should be for my size. It's a 72 centimeters, and the balance is not perfect. It's uh, a ba the balance is okay, but. I have to be really careful uh, physically to, to preserve my arms because the weight is important. But the feeling when you cut is fluid. You feel like a cycle. When you feel the cycle, in my opinion, that means that your cut will be good. It has to be a full cycle or a half cycle now for the double cuts in the special Anway moments and on the Johnny practical moments I had many opportunities but I missed um, many times the second one so this double cut was correct first clean cut and a second clean cut just right on the middle of the section of Mote not flipping in the air so just staying vertical that means the first cut was clean and I really felt the cycle the kime I tried other times the double cut but that was not as clean as that uh, double cut that we, we have seen so for me it's really simple Johnny Practical wins because of the carbon steel and the tsuka but it's paradoxical because the special from Anway has the better Nagasa size so we can understand from that experience that the tsuka is really important even with a good Nagasa size for you, your, your body, for your size. If you have, you have not a good suka, it can annihilate 
all the positive aspects of a good size Nagasa, so the journey practical wins. Thank you, dear Ronin, for having watched this video. I hope you liked it. You can follow me on Instagram or TikTok at The Running Hood. You will see there special videos of my trainings. Stay focused, mind sharp, and body healthy. And see you soon for a new episode on Running Hood. <laughs>